Okay. Another kill. Okay. Ah, oh, I could have played slightly better. That was pretty close. Okay, so I'm gonna base now. Okay. Okay. So, for this game right here, Twitch chat, the plan is to lose. Okay? The plan is to lose. So we're gonna do absolutely... It is Avenger reference. Avengers Endgame? Really? Okay, I didn't know. Yeah, so the plan is to lose, and the way we're going to do this, okay, we're gonna go into the lane and we're gonna lose our lane, we're gonna die to a random gank, free free roams by Loana, and then we're gonna tilt and we're gonna lose the game, and that's the plan. Okay. So yeah, we're playing Rise vs. Scork, guys, and um, usually I would be confident to say it should be Rise favored, but since I am the one piloting the Rise, not a good look. I'm very offended that no, no offense, Danaf. Isn't Danaf? I am super, super, super offended right now too. You know why, Danaf? I'm losing every game, and I, I, I don't know how to fix it. I don't know how to fix it, Danaf. If you have any advice, Danaf, I'm listening. Kirk Yalitskas rise in very late late game. Yeah, he does usually. And that's right, can like somehow dish out. Corgi has just way more options late game. Okay, taking down his HP. That's a huge chunk. That's worth it. So now he's really low and he's gonna have a hard time laning. He's gonna obviously instantly Q right now. So I have to sidestep it. I have to walk forward and then backwards. At this point, better to just pop out potions and then. Now I'm level 3, yeah, I just walk forward. In an instant, all could be gone. No oh, minions, dude. We can dive him. <laughs> the bowling ball straight from downtown. I did not play this lane well. I could flash on him. Wait. No? Alright, no flash on him. He's gonna slowly base and tip you backwards. I just want I just want change. Gonna go for dark seal, I don't think I need boots. Okay. Not sure where their support is. Such. This minion doesn't leave me. 
Ah, dude, I keep making the same mistake, buying no potions against a Corky. It's such a mistake. Okay. Another kill. I'm gonna try to push that in. Munda should have a hard time ganking me. In case he appears. Okay. Ah, oh, I could have played slightly better. That was pretty close. Okay, so I'm gonna base now. I can buy boots. I think boots are super important. Boots allow me so to do so many things. I don't really need raw damage because I already have so much damage. I just I just need mobility. Boots are gonna allow me to space my brother, catch the Scorky who has no boots. Uh, the city boots are super strong right now in the meta. Due to giving me so much ability in this early game. Boots are the play. Boots kind of not very the best into Loana, that's for sure. Because Loana. See, like, boots allow me to just almost kill him here. I'm missing so much CS, it's making me sad, dude. It's gonna rise ult into him, and because he has no boots, I should be able to just secure a free kill here. And I know his W is on cooldown as well. Trying to pick up the last plate here. So here's the play, they're, they're running into me, right? So the only play I have is to go execute, I think. There we go. I know their top lane is running into me and the jung is gonna chase me forever. So the only play I have is to execute, really. Um, I did give Mundo the experience with the execute, but he did not get anything else. So I think it's worth. Um, so now I'm just gonna run back to lane. And that's about it that's happening here. This guy has no items whatsoever. I can just keep bullying him. Maybe even start roaming lanes now. Bot lane is hard losing, it seems. Top lane is doing okay -ish, but also losing due to matchup. Rang is doing well. Normally, I'd like to have ultimate though before I roam. And like, yeah. Um, I just want to trade with him as much as I can. He's almost dead. Push out the whole wave in. This is Rice's beautiful wave clear. Now Mundo can be a problem, but I have Phaser, so I just want to drag him to mid lane so he wastes time. So I think I'm gonna play a bit with fire here. And uh, I'm not afraid of him. Corky decided to take a base, so this is the time where I'm just gonna push in the wave. And going for next plate is probably bad because it's too tanky and their bot lane might be, might be coming to me. So I'm just gonna uh, run away and not do that. Probably a good raptor timing. I'm just gonna do raptors. Um, Corky with package can still be scary here. Just went with magic mantle. I think I'm gonna chill now for one minute. I'm playing flash the rice versus a package. Okay, now I see Mundo. He's gonna immediately Q, so we step back to dodge it. And uh, I'm just gonna focus on clearing the wave. Clearing the wave also heals me due to Ravenous Hunter. Mm. Since I know Mundo is top lane, I'm gonna walk bot to check Raptors up. And I'm gonna be able to clear them really easily here. He's gonna try to W over the wall, but Malilia, I got the, I got the snare in time, so Malilia can get the kill. Now I have double raptor secured, so I have the timer. Uh, this is the moment where you ult out as rice, because I think their bot lane is actually in river. I would die. Uh, so probably the timing where I'm just gonna take a base. Zero four. Yes, my ult goes to cooldown, but lucky for me, it's not a big deal. And then I also have a lot of CDR already, so my ult is actually a bit shorter cooldown than it normally would be. So I'm just gonna go back to lane now, play my lane again. 
I'm really really strong, obviously. Right now with the current items. He has no boots, I think he oh he could he could buy boots, but I think he has no money for mercs. Fortunately, this poor Corky is just getting no money this game. So he can't even afford I think the merc chats. Um This is the Q E trick here. Because your E has higher range. He's trying to harass me, but it really doesn't do anything because I heal it off. I can go always for plants. Okay, they're pinging me to back, so I'm definitely backing. I'm gonna let him get that wave. In the meanwhile, meanwhile I can probably run topset and look for a top lane gun because right now they're fighting. Uh, Jay's really low. This could be an easy pickup by me. I have flash. I think I should be able to get a kill here. He does spot me in vision right now, but I think he knows he's doomed. He's just gonna walk. Now Lilia is behind this Corky, so this guy is gonna die too. I'm just gonna kill the cannon so I heal off him with Ravenous and I don't die. And now it's time to perfectly base and maybe then... Oh... I knew he would flash, I tried to do something cheeky there by uh, reacting the flashing, but I should have flashed to the side and W'd him. Amundo is luckily gonna die, but that's still bad. Uh, if I just flash correctly, I would actually just leave there. Um, yeah. I'm thinking my next item is probably going to be Zonia in a game like this. When you're ahead, it's better to buy the fancy items. Uh, or bait, I can TP. Yeah, it's gonna be an instant TP by me, and I however for scare. Nice hook by Thingy, and I think this is probably just a kill. And now I can ever force the loan as well. And slowly finish her off. And this is double kill for my bot lane. I did get mostly assist there. That's a really easy bait there. Um, I'm actually happy my Kaisa was a very witch. She was even pinging. But I would tell them regardless of it. So, And I don't even lose anything mid lane. Because there's a cannon uh, tanking. And now this Corky is kind of caught with no boots into a Lilia. Has to instantly flash. And now he's stuck in a pit. So... Please, 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 Lilia. Ooh, okay. I really said I'm, I keep dying for for these things, but I kind of had to. We're still gonna profit a lot here. Nice, Lilia even survives. This is huge. Now, um, my Lilia there didn't expect me to ult, but obviously if there's like voice comes, I just tell her come to me, and then she ults with me, and then in this case we would both survive. Uh, maybe what I could do different there is uh, try to insta proc my phasers and just kite. And that way I wouldn't kill Corky, but I would get close with Lilia faster. <clears throat> mm, Alright, back to Midland again. Kind of feels bad I died so many times. There's a lot of camps up right now and I could definitely take some. Uh, since I'm so much ahead in experience and levels, uh, the minion waves are pushing into him because their minions are stronger. Top lane dies to a low on a room. Welcome to League of Support, where supports are just roaming, I guess. This guy's trying to freeze, I'm gonna try to break the wave and maybe move outside, due to action being there. Mm. Actually... Mm, I was not clean. I could have gotten the W off, I think, if I just played faster, the trade sequence. I'm just clear checking cams, but there's nothing up. So I guess the only thing I can do right now is just try to get one more plate before play disappears. Because there's just nothing else to do, right? There's no jungle camps, no nothing. Okay, a cork is coming. Time to run. I can get the last plate. Jay is going mid there. Makes me not be able to get the last plate. Plan is to clear this wave. There we go. And that's about it, I suppose. He's gonna try to go top side. I don't wanna let him clear my pink. My own has to be careful. This is just like the only timing where Corky is useful with package. Okay.
perkiest package because it would disappear. And the problem is like I can't really do anything. No jungle camps, no nowhere to roam. I just I'm in fog of war and I'm just waiting. Someone was just here because he plays the pink. So I'm not gonna walk there because the bottling could definitely one shot me. Like my champ can't really deal with CC and high damage well. Uh, the Lona could be mid here. Nope, it's a bottling all in. So I will try to. I burn his W. Okay, gonna play under towers here. Broken phase rush, that's okay. And I'm gonna run to Raptors, do Raptors, and go for the wave. Uh, since their bot lane is coming to me, I'm just gonna ult out. I'm not sure how fast they are, so I'd rather just ult out. You can definitely use ult in situations like this as Rice. Uh, Chunk to get the tower. Just some in proximity. Uh, Battling fighting. I have 30 seconds TP. I'm gonna stay on the map for 30 more seconds and then base. Uh, one for one on bot lane. Top lane is probably gonna win because Lilia is too fat. I assume. I can change to see this guy so uh, much with our first combo there that he can't actually move. This is a good timing now to base, and I can immediately TP maybe even after basing. Uh, probably TP sword, probably topside TP is what I would assume to do, but I'm still waiting just to see. No, I'm actually gonna do a mid lane TP and force this Mundo to go out of Dragon. He's the only one. I can for sure outkite him. He has Tabe, so that's really important that's to note. Well. Mercs are usually what you buy. What? He my did it so fast! Subscribe to my favorite streamer. Also, 13 is my lucky number, so I hope it gives you good luck to you as well with the next games. Oh, he did it fast. What the hell? Thank you, Bella, for 13 months. Uh, I'm gonna go top set. So, the only one that could be coming to me is Jace, but. Let's be honest with I'm gonna be honest, like I'm not afraid of him. Zonia most of the damage there. Really? That Mundo is just tanking me, such. Well, Never mind, I guess. I had no ult. Mundo came in time. The champ tank just makes him get close so fast. A bit too risky, I guess. I can't deal with the Mundo. Kinda... Such... That um, Lilia is never with me. They're doing Herald. I'm not sure why we're not stopping this. You all unfortunately cannot finish, really. We're gonna give them Herald, whatever. Uh, just gonna go for Seraphs next. Since I have Dark Seal, uh, it's pretty hard to buy Magi. I know, uh, it's pretty hard to get, like, I'm st Since I have Dark Seal in my inventory, I don't have slots anymore to buy, like, needlessly large for Seraphs. Just do blue. Champion clears camps really fast. Uh, that's a yikes. That's 1k gold towards the Corky, and now top lane is also getting ganked. This game could be a lot cleaner, I feel like, if Lilia just played with me a bit more. I feel like everywhere I go, I'm always alone, which is not how it should be. And now enemy Munda is somehow just owning us. I don't know. I'm gonna push this wave and probably go bot lane. Another package of Corky. I am um, pretty close to my Seraphs. Uh, since it's just done and she can probably W and ult away, I'm not gonna go for the ultimate there. Uh, I missed the Everfrost cone. I burned his package though. I'm looking for bottle and ult here for sure. Mm, 
Okay. I lost a lot of HP there. I will base, I suppose. Because Munda's coming, I definitely don't want to die again. Bar my Seraph's Embrace. This is gonna give me a lot of AP to play with. Sinja is a bit better on Rise due to his also passive. That grants me a lot of mana. Alright. Now I guess the bad part about this game is we don't have a lot of Jakes, so we're not really uh, reaching soul condition. But Archives, I think Snasher could be a play, which I can agree with. We do have a lot of damage to it. I was level 16 super early into the game, by the way. Level 16 is a huge spike on rice. No. no minions for me. Alright. Alright, we're gonna try this fast Baron play here. I don't have Rizal to bail us out and they already know we're doing it. Mm, I guess we are disengaging. Lona is in tink. One HP and Corky. Oh, he just died. Out to stop watch, he died. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not going for it. I'm not going for it. Screw it. I'll just play it safe. Okay, I have a good major here as well. Then Dark Sistak's waiting for me. Baron should be ours. I'm gonna push out this top lane wave. Okay, Yon wants to go. I'll just base them and go for Jake. I got money for Major anyway. I'm gonna be able to reach level 16. Just need like two more minions. Mm, they are getting some MR. Maybe my next item could be Void, but Rabo the Mosa is insane on this champ right now because I have a lot of AP already. Okay, level 16 with the Gromp. I disagree with Kaiser here because we do Jake so fast and we are just on our way of doing it. So I think doing Jake first is actually better than doing it on exit, as she suggested. Um, I have no ult, so ult is a defensive tool against like Mundo, for example. Okay, Everforce is an amazing item, guys. Oh, that's four more major stacks. Corky seems to be dying. I'm just gonna buff this wave here. I'm gonna stand here just to it grants me vision. I'm kind of curious if they're going on me. I should be safe if I just stand here. The minions do most of the work. Okay, I see low on me. This is the only person I care about because the CC is the most annoying part. I have no tenacity. So now I can just... Wait, cannon minion is breaking the tower. We should be able to get multiple inhibs here, or potentially even end the game if we play it well. Multing behind. Oh, it's not the greatest though. Yeah, Munda is not someone that did a lot of damage, huh? That guy's that. Well, and that guy is not dying anytime soon. That's for sure. Victory in it. That was a good game. That was one of the rare games that I won. Holy moly.
been losing so much. I I forgot how you know the the winning of the feeling of winning. I do have I have forgotten the feeling. I can't wait to leave this town, cause baby I've been feeling down. The cold nights just don't feel the same. Oh. oh, oh.